Hello and welcome to a new video on LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about how to recertify your exam without resetting the examination. If you follow the previous video, we discussed about the different certification levels in LabVIEW. We also discussed that each of the certification has its own unique validity period. So we need to recertify our certifications before the expiry date. There are two different ways you can recertify by exam or recertification by points. We already discussed that recertification by points will include one hour multiple choice questions examination for the CLAD, CLD and CLA level. While the developer level would require you to sit one hour 30 questions, objective question, followed by the five hours application development examination. The alternative recertification method is called recertification by points. According to the NI guidelines for the recertification by points program, you will be eligible for the recertification by points only for the CLD. CLED and CLA level certifications. To understand more about these certifications, you also need to be in the active state of your certification. Now we'll go to the NI website and then explore what are the policies for the recertifications. As you can see, this link shows you the different states of the certification. So basically, when you are certified, you will be in the active state if your certification has not expired. But once your certification has been expired, it will go to the suspended level and then it will become inactive. So let me explain what the active, suspended and inactive is. If your certification is within the validity period, it is called active. Uh, this means you can recertify your certification or you can move to the next level of certification. But if you fail to recertify or you move to the next stage of the certification, then after the validity period, your certification will move to the suspended status. In this status, your name will be removed from the NI website and all the certification has the suspended period of one year. Uh, you will not be able to move to the next level of certification uh, when your certification is suspended but you can still recertify your certification uh, but uh, you can only use the recertification by exam in this case you cannot use the recertification by points now even after your certification has been suspended and after one year of the suspension period if you still fail to recertify then your certification will become inactive this basically means you have to restart from the Certified Lab you Associate Developer level. I've shared the link for this documentation in the description of this video so you can explore with it and it also defines how you can recertify by different methods. We'll now discuss about how to recertify without actually sitting the examination. This is called Recertification by Points Program by National Instruments. The NI Recertification by Points Program has been run by National Instruments to reward the NI certified professionals for contributing the NI certified community. Uh, NI rewards these professionals by points for performing some activities, for example, tra NI training courses. Uh, creating the material for the CLAD, CLD, CLA or CLAD examinations or mentoring the professionals to achieve those certifications. Or even like uh, for example if you attend the NI week or CLA summit or CLD summit or any of the NI events you also get points. So you need to achieve 50 points to recertify yourself. So you need to write the email to certification rewards at the rate
uh, there is lots of terms and conditions involved over there. As you can see, it says 50 points you need to accumulate. And it also says that certified developers and architects are eligible for this activities. I'll share the link for this documentation below in the description you can see over there and as you can see there are different approved activities. You can gain points by teaching or just by attending based on which training you are taking up. You can also gain points by attending or presenting at the Yanai week or different kind of national instruments events. For example, the Certified Lab View Developer Summit or the Certified Lab View Certification Summit. For example, if you have presented twice at any of the Yanai sponsored certification summit, then your certification will be extended. The duration will be extended beyond that period of expiry date. So as you can see, uh, you can also gain points by creating the question paper and so on. Finally, you can also gain points for training the professionals to become CLD, CLED, CLA, or recertify. Uh, you can also find the additional resources in that documentation. So now you know how to recertify your certification without actually sitting the examination. But National Instruments has not made this method permanent. That basically means National Instruments has the right to cancel this recertification by points program at any point. In that case, if you have collected at least 25 points, then at that point of the cancellation of this program, all the participants having 25 points will recertify their certification automatically. Uh, but there is also one requirement is when you are applying for the recertification by points program you need to add the email address of the person for example like it can be a trainer it can be the NI sponsor or the organizer of the event so that the recertification by points team can validate and provide you the recertification i hope you like this video please like share or comment on this video and please subscribe for future lab view videos.